Time to upgrade. What's up Gadgeteers, my name is Hector and this is Gadget Beard and on this channel I unbox and review everyday tech, gadgets and accessories for you and in today's video we have the iPad Pro 12.9 2020 edition here in front of me, had to upgrade, it was time to upgrade from my 2017 10.5 iPad Pro. Um, Without further ado, let's just get into this unboxing. I did buy this, I bought some a couple accessories because upon upgrading from the 10.5, I had to buy a new pencil, buy new screen protectors, and a desk mount because I do want to use this as a desktop replacement or as a laptop replacement. So I got some accessories, hopefully you like them. Link to anything I showcase here in the video will be in the description below if you want to go ahead and pick something up yourself so without further ado let's rip this and unbox the ipad 12.9 2020 does it have a seal it does not and come on let's come out And voila the iPad and look at this bad boy this thing is huge compared to my whoa camera bump 10.5 iPhone iPhone iPad and what we have in here is we do get some Apple stickers bam right there the quick reference manual and some other shit that nobody reads. Let's go ahead and put that back. We do have our iPad fast charger brick and our type C to type C charging cable. And this is type C right there as well. So let's go ahead and put that back in here. Nothing else is in the box. You get all that cool stuff there. Let's place this box out here and check out. this iPad damn so I didn't have the 2018 version and this thing is huge and one reason why I went with this version here was because I wanted a bigger version of the iPad because I was doing all my video editing and everything with this little board right here and look at the size difference now, I saw a lot of videos saying do not upgrade from a 2018 version to the newest upgrade to the newest version because the newest version it, it didn't really have that much of a big upgrade uh, but for myself coming from this little bad boy here upgrading to this bad boy let's go ahead and power it on it was well worth the upgrade and the price the 2018 I think at the time when I purchased this one was being discounted at like Best Buy and Apple only by 50 or $100 so, or so. So it really made no sense to, to save $100 to go with the older generation. And if I went with the newer generation, the 2021, I got a little bit more of storage because this 250 gig iPad was maybe about 50 or $100 more than last year's 250 gig or 64 gigabyte, something like that. So my two cents, it was better to go ahead and grab this. Now, while that sets up, let's go ahead and unbox Apple Pencil Generation 2 because I did have to buy a new pencil because the Generation 1 does not work with the newer 2018 or 2020 iPad. So if you are upgrading from a older iPad like I was, uh, just keep in mind that if you do use that pencil, you are gonna have to uh, go ahead and do another investment on the pencil itself and we, we have our, our Same bull crap material here and we do have the Apple pencil here 
let's compare the difference between first gen and second gen now the first gen is a little bit taller than the regular one this one feels a lot better in hand it is matted you do have that flat edge surface and then that's where you charge it on top of the ipad but it does not have a tip like that that comes off and you do not have to plug this into the ipad or into a charging cable to charge your pencil but i think the tips are the same and everything this one's glossy and round this is a little bit of more matted white has a very soft touch feel to it and this flat edge here makes it feel a little bit more comfortable actually because it gives you a place to place your thumb kind of giving you more grip and writing and stuff so it does feel a little bit more refined than the first year's apple pencil so let's go ahead and put this back here and i did also get this screen protector also uh, this one was about 10 11 bucks on Amazon uh, I like this one because it had that frame alignment frame so you can just put that on install the tempered glass screen protector and and you're done and it had great reviews too so I'll have a link to this in the bottom uh, one thing I did see that a lot of uh, iPad video content creators are being sponsored is paper like uh, I've never experienced the paper like screen protector so i am going to pick one of those up those are a little bit more expensive than these uh, this is the tempered glass one so i did pick this up as well uh, and they're a little bit more expensive than these but i heard nothing but good things about that paper like screen protector and it feels like you're writing on paper it actually feels like you're writing on paper so while this is being set up I'm is it already set up? Let's go ahead and continue. I'm gonna set up my face ID real quick. So while this is being set up, let's go ahead and take a look at the stand here. Now this is gonna be my desktop stand. I'm gonna, I do got a keyboard and some other stuff that I did pick up and I did get a free little fan. I don't know why, but we do have it there. But we do have this stand here and we have some L keys and some installation and I believe this is the base. Let's go ahead and we have a micro USB port here. Nothing else. We do have this thing that I don't know where it goes. Looks like there's some assembly we have to do here, but this is the kind of stand here that I got. So this is supposed to click on here and hold my iPad like a desktop. And we do have some, I have to figure this out actually, but I don't know what this is. I believe this goes on here, not quite sure. Uh, we do have L keys and we have the installation brackets here. So let me go ahead and install this and get back to you guys. But this is how it's supposed to look like that. All right, so there you have it. I assembled it. Let's go ahead and collapse this. Uh, so this you can plug to power and you do have a USB charging port there Which is pretty cool because you can charge the base is pretty heavy. So it's supposed to hold your iPad Up and this thing is supposed to hold it good. So depending on which way let's go ahead and See if this bad boy will actually hold it And it looks like you got some wiggle room for your actual and it kind of holds it like that. And you gotta do, you do have to tighten these joints up here on the side uh, because they are pretty loose right now. And it would not, this is not holding the weight of the iPad. So you kind of gotta tighten these up a little bit. Oh yeah, they're super loose. So this is not even. Okay. 
Yeah, I don't recommend this stand here. I don't think you can tighten these up anymore. And it's not holding the weight of the iPad the iPads so whoa yeah this is not gonna work so I do not recommend this stand here um, it's not holding the weight of the iPad so this does say tension adjustments you can adjust it but it seems like they're a little tight so maybe I need to turn the other way I'm gonna play with this more the little stand and then maybe I'll do another video where I, if it does work, I'll come back and showcase this showing that it does work. But there you have it guys. This is the iPad unboxing 2020. I did get the pencil. I did get a screen protector and I did get some other, um, the desktop mount. I don't have a case for this right now. I'm currently looking for a case. I don't think I'm going to get the magic keyboard, uh, because I do have the magic keyboard here to the desktop i got a magic mouse and i have a trackpad uh, all this paired up together i think is a great combination to have this is going to be a desktop style setup it's not for mobility uh I, I, and if i do need to take it somewhere then a simple case and stuff will work but uh this is my setup for 2020 for video editing and video production uh there you have it guys please like share and subscribe if you have any questions regarding this ipad or the this one right here on why i upgraded uh this one was getting a little bit slower uh so i needed something a little bit faster i needed more screen real estate and this is where i went with but thanks for watching please like share and subscribe and like always i'll catch you guys in the next video peace